What is this that you're looking at? The uh, Knox County budget. Okay. And, um, yeah. All right. I mean, obviously, the big increase for is public safety, you know, at 5.3 million. Kitchen plans. You've got you got three different kitchen plans for the shares. You are a star. So they're going to give six percent to the shares. The raise captains and below. And below, correct. The captains are going to get it because we're so short on officers. They're doing. They're out patrolling. patrolling. They don't need to be patrolling. They need to be doing captains. Yes. So I agree with the captains getting the six percent for that reason. Right. If the captains weren't out patrolling, I would go. Yeah, you know, I know sergeants in down or something, yeah. or lieutenants. But they're having to patrol, I and mean, the captain's not a patrol guy. You know, that's for the sergeant to do, or a lieutenant. So they get six percent, and then there's one of the plans. I don't know which plan it is. They did. Yeah. They're going to give them six percent, or they're going to give them twelve percent, and they can either take that twelve percent and keep it, or take that six percent of that twelve and put it back into retirement. Is that? Yeah, I say yeah, that correctly. Yes, UOP is the one that was closed in twenty fourteen. That's, that's the, the that's the Cadillac right. plan mm -hmm. of retirement programs. You know, um, sorry, yeah. and. Um, so those folks that are in the UOP will actually get it when they retire because they get the automatic 3% increase every year. And that's, and that's, why the, that's why that we have to continually re-look re at funding it back based on actuarial uh, standards because um, that's you know, one of the bigger liabilities that we and I'm then, not. so the new one from 2014 on is the STAR program. Which so it's is the basically, match. yeah, yes. You put in six. six, and you know, put in six. six. Correct, correct, yes. So what they were trying to do is give them an incentive to stay longer by go, doing the additional. Since you're on the finance committee, you go to all these, well, I'm on the finance You go to retirement and all that stuff. When Tom was there, they talked about he cannot get officers because of uh, state pension, like state pension plan. What was uh, I think it was called blue, blue something? Uh, no, it's been mainly because of the what Oak Ridge has been paying for their officers. You know, at the plant there, you know, those people start out at like seventy-five. So what they and then of course the city's always been higher than the county, and then Blount County and Loudoun County and um, some of those places have been, and Anderson County have had higher starting salaries. Um, well, and and of course the difference too, if you think about it, with the city of Knoxville, their officers can go right from the academy right to patrol. In the county, they have to go from the academy to the jail. And then serve that time period there at the jail before they go to patrol. So that's why there's an entire standard in the city for payroll that you can't do apples to apples on starting salary. Don't you, you, you remember? I, I wish I could know the But he said he cannot recruit. It's hard to recruit other officers because they're on a different type of retirement system through a state program than we are. Of course, we're a charter. We're well, Charter County. We can do this. I'm trying to think it. Oh, that's wrong. That's yeah, because it could be if it's from a smaller county or something. So he was having a hard time. A sheriff, a deputy that wants to come say from uh, Monroe County, and get a ten thousand dollar increase. Well, his retirement it doesn't pay. Yeah. It does. It does. Particularly if they're going to stay too retired. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Can 